Hello to everyone and welcome to Nano Technology Channel. My name is Masoud Khazai and this session is dedicated to this question. What is a nanoparticle? First definition. A nanoparticle is a microscopic particle with at least one dimension less than 100 nanometer. One nanometer is only three to five atoms wide, 40,000 times smaller than the width of an average human hair. History. Although nanoparticles are associated with modern science, they have a long history. Nanoparticles were used by artisans as far back as Rome in the fourth century, in the famous Lycurgus cup made up by clay glass as well as the 9th century in Mesopotamia for creating a glittering effect on the surface of pots. Properties Nanoparticles affect many properties such as melting and boiling point, band gap, optical, electrical and magnetic properties. There are two reasons for these special properties. First, nanomaterials have a relatively larger surface area when compared to the same mass of material produced in a larger form. Nanoparticles can make materials more chemically reactive and affect their strengths or electrical properties. The second reason is quantum effects. Quantum effects can begin to dominate the behavior of matter at a nano scale. Why nanoparticles? Nanoparticles are of interest because of the new properties such as chemical reactivity and optical behavior that they exhibit compared with larger particles of the same materials. Synthesis methods. These are different methods for the synthesis of nanoparticles. Co-precipitation, hydrothermal, inert gas condensation, sputtering, microwave, sol gel, biological template, spark discharge, ultrasound, laser ablation, macroemulsion. So far we have explained uh, sol gel methods and its different types in the channel. And we're going to talk about all of these methods in the future. Different types of nanoparticles. Carbon-based nanoparticles, ceramic nanoparticles, metal, semiconductor, polymeric, and lipid-based nanoparticles. Carbon nanoparticles. Graphene carbon nanotubes and fluorescent carbon no quantum dots pertain to carbon materials family. They have attracted much attention in the scientific community and engineering due to their extraordinary physical, chemical, optical, mechanical, and thermal properties. Carbon nanoparticles have extraordinary electrical conductivity, heat conductivity, and mechanical properties. They are composed of pure carbon, therefore exhibiting high stability, good conductivity, low, ta low toxicity, and environmental friendliness. Since a large part of the human body consists of carbon, it is generally thought as a biocompatible material. The good electrical conductivity, high surface area, and linear geometry make their surface highly accessible to the electrolytes. Carbon-based nanomaterials also have a strong anisotropic thermal conductivity. This property allows the carbon-based nanomaterials being used in advanced computing electronics where the temperature of uncooled chips can reach over 100 centigrade degrees. The second group is ceramic nanoparticles. Nanoceramics have unique properties because of their size and molecular structure. These properties are often shown in terms of various electrical and magnetic physics phenomena. 
Medical technology used nanoceramics for bone repair. It has been suggested for areas including energy supply and storage, communication, transportation systems, construction, and medical technology. Their electrical properties may allow energy to be transferred efficiencies approaching 100%. Metal nanoparticles. These are examples of metal nanoparticles include gold, selenium, and, uh, and so on. Semiconductor nanoparticles. A semiconductor is a material that has an electrical conductivity between a conductor and an insulator. Semiconductor nanocrystals are tiny crystalline particles that exhibit size-dependent optical and electrical electronic properties. Amongst the various types of nanomaterials, semiconductor nanoparticles have been widely investigated. This is quite understandable. Semiconductors have been useful in making devices that dive the drive towards miniaturization of electronic components and integration to accommodate huge number of them in a small volume has been there for decades. This has enabled to have very compact digital watches, calculators, computers, laptops, uh, etc. Polymeric nanoparticles. Polymeric nanoparticles are defined as particular dispersions or solid particles with size in the range of 10 to 1,000 nanometers. There has been a considerable research interest in the area of drug delivery using particular delivery systems as carriers for a small and large molecules. The last one is lipid-based nanoparticles. Lipid-based nanoparticles that are genuine particles assembled from varieties of lipid and other chemical components that act collectively to overcome biological barriers or biobarriers. Lipid-based nanoparticles are mostly used as drug delivery systems for anti-cancer therapeutics. And this diagram shows most commonly used lipid-based nanoparticles for anti-cancer drug delivery. Okay, that is the end of this session about nanoparticles. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe us for more videos about nanotechnology and science. Bye-bye.